It's if, Denzel. If that guy was the funniest, coolest uh, dude in the yeah. world, I couldn't be friends with him. <laughs> I know. He'd be like, hey, man, but you didn't call me back. And I'd go, Mark, I don't know how to say this, but your tattoo is so gay, it's I can't be your friend. As Malcolm X. It's an actor. And the movie's not good. No, it's, it's like four good. hours long. It's way too long. It's boring is what it is. How do you make Malcolm X boring? Make, That's yeah, an yeah. accomplishment, yeah. man. He oh. was a thug. Then he was a revolutionary. <laughs> yeah. Then he grew and evolved within that revolution. And then he was assassinated. assassinated. <gasps> Yawn. <laughs> <laughs> Yawn. I'm bored. This book is like a fucking roller coaster. Yeah, but they figured out how to make it boring. It was a spike, right? That was yeah, Spike Lee. That was Spike, yeah. of course. He, he can do. He could do that. It's the worst. Boring. Fucking Dude, asshole. I, I know a a, a guy who has a restaurant in like uh, what's it called? Country Club. You know that area in Pelham. It's called Country Club. It's a shitty neighborhood. Yeah, it's like the Bronx. Okay. And he's got an Italian restaurant there. Spike Spike Lee shows up, sits down, and he he gets this is on me. It's on me. It's comp. It's comp. Okay. And at the end of the meal, he goes, "Hey, I'm just so happy to have you here. You mean a lot. And I love your movies, oh, no. and it's great. You know what Spike? Spike. I always want to say Spike Jones. You know what Spike Lee does? He just goes. Like, doesn't say thank you, doesn't nod, does nothing. Like, he expected, like, he probably wasn't going to pay even if the guy said. I don't give a fuck. I'll just walk out of your fucking joint. He thinks it's, like, do the right thing everywhere he goes. He's Uday Hussein is who he is. He's Uday, yeah. (laughs) I wish. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) This is fucked up, Gavin, because I thought of you uh, when I saw this because of... It's another article with these guys with huge cocks. I know. That was the next story Uh. (laughs) that I thought of you. But this one, uh, single women can snuggle this giant emotional support bear. And it's it's got a man body and a bear head, and you dress it up, and here it is. Yay! Now, all I'm th- now, it's not supposed to be anything sexual. It's just supposed to be that you could cuddle and snuggle in bed. So, again, oh this is exactly God. what you've been saying about women, that they got their career, they work, they do, and then they end up, at the end of the day, snuggling with a fucking pillow, miserable, crying. I hope that thing is super absorbent for the lonely tears that come out of these women's eyes. If if there was a trip to Mars that was four years on the spaceship and some of the women started complaining about the trip and how they miss their husbands, you're like, don't worry. Yeah, yeah. Have something. We figure it out. In your pod, you will find <laughs> a bear man who you can hold while right. you miss your husband on the way, the eight years it takes to go to Mars. Eight years, and yeah. <laughs> and, and, and another thing. Something tells me this ain't the girl that's using this fucking Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's some old fat c- that, uh, you know, let it all slip away when she had the chance. Yeah, she's... They- they even made the bear face look like he doesn't want to be there. <laughs> yeah, he's like, yeah. Oh, oh, honey, I gotta go. I can't. Sleeping? I can't stay. <laughs> Can I slip out while she's yeah, still sleeping? Yeah, I got. I got work. We've all been there, right? That's the next morning. Yeah. You're, you're that bear, and I you just want to like. <laughs> she's hot. Cut your fuck. arm off. This girl's hot as fuck. Yeah, like, that's not a girl that's gonna be hugging up. I, I wouldn't well. be sad. Uh, but yeah, this is. Only, only in this day and age can we see uh, uh, women that uh, have concentrated so much on on their careers and hating men and all that shit that they don't have a husband, they don't have kids, and they need something like this to wrap around at Ubiquitous night. Ubiquitous spinsters. Yeah, spinsters. Spinsters used to be that one spinster. lady with the, the granny old boots. school marm. And it was a freak. It was yeah, a, yeah. It was actually a spinster. spinster. Who's her boyfriend? Who's her lover? She has none. Ooh, a, spinster. <laughs> a spinster. She fucked up. <laughs> now spinster's the norm. Yeah, that's the norm now. And the woman who gets married is like, what? what are you doing that for? Proud to be a spinster. Oh, yeah. Until. I love being a night. me bag for everyone's c- <laughs> and you know damn well they just don't what no matter what they say they don't yeah. like this lifestyle. Oh no. You if you they ever want to see a good a good list of spinsters just look up people who women who write articles about the proud boys. Oh yeah yeah. Like yeah. Amanda Marcotte or 
genitalia Jane. Those are the ones that should be wrapped around these fucking. Yeah, those are the ones there. They've, they, yeah. they've always like, I finally got a boyfriend. I'm finally in love. And then he sort of disappears. Yeah, up. yeah. You never. Like, they, they, all these, and these are all nerds I in New it. York who like hang out with these gawker or whatever people. Yeah. Huffington Post people. And they just fuck her face at three in the morning. Yeah. And then she's, she, they meet the parents and they're just like, Ugh, I'm finally sober and I'm looking at this old. Yeah. Oh, jeez. I got to move on. You're dumped. I got it. Yeah. And then she gets her. And she's like, good. Oh, I man. love it. I got my bear pillow. I'm yeah. fine. That's all I need is my, my bear. Her Lorenz is, is their queen. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, that's yes. a perfect example. That's her. She's so, she was a big part of getting our show canceled in Rutherford. Who? Talia Jane. Oh, uh, that's a her. lonely, overweight, a fat, ugly Antifa bitch. Fat, ugly Antifa bitch. Like people Holy think Antifa God. is is like Proud Boys, but with That's masks crazy. on. No, it's fat chicks. It's fat chicks. Antifa is fat. And, chicks. and look at their hips. When you see pictures of them and they're oh, all messed yeah. up, you're like, wait a minute. Yeah. That's not a chubby guy. Ugh. That's a fucking this. a bit. And and you know the funny thing about their their belief system is they're the biggest victims of it. Like we didn't have a fun night on Thursday night in Rutherford. Yeah. Uh, last night I was playing Trivial Pursuit, Family Trivial Pursuit with the kids by yeah. the fire. You know, my wife had a pot roast. Like, there believe it or not, the next night was great. Right, you're we not going to. Uh, on Friday. Yeah, yeah. Like, Saturday was a thing. So, like, we were living out and there. They sabotaged one of our nights yeah. out of 365. And then all of their nights are sabotaged yep. by their own hatred of They're traditionalism. Miserable. And you're like, yeah. no, guys. No nothing. Not having no fun. kids. No house. And they have no ability to to enjoy humor. So they don't have sense of humor. They can't even take uh, any bit of joy out of out of a joke or anything. They're just miserable people. Miserable. And and miserable. You, they used to work for Vice yep. and HuffPo and uh, Daily Beast and all that. But the the culture of everything's racist, everything yep. sucks. Trump is going to grab your daughter's pussy. Uh -huh. All that stuff. It doesn't work in the free market. <clears throat> right. So they're all fired from those. So when you look them up, you realize that that's in their list of things they used yeah, to work. Yeah. On. Australian Vice is also something Australia is always big with them for some reason. Maybe Australia has very low standards for <laughs> journalism. But now it's like check out my Substack, and check out my newsletter, and try out my Patreon, and. Please just give me money because nice. capitalism has left me behind. Yeah. Because I suck. Because <laughs> you suck. And meritocracy. Is HuffPo still a me. thing? Yeah, I think it's still Okay, online. I guess I don't follow them on Twitter anymore. And I haven't even noticed. You just said HuffPo. It's the first time I've even thought of it. Have you thought of Daily Beast in a uh, while? Yeah, I, I've seen Daily Beast. Oh, really? But I, HuffPo is one of those things where... If I'm following it, I'll notice it. But if I didn't, like, there's 80 other pieces of shit. All of those, like Vox. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Vox still around. Vox, Salon. It seems like in 2015 and up till, like, when Trump started being effective. Yeah. Maybe, like, 2017. They were a lot more viral. Oh, yeah. But now you don't really think no, of. No, you don't like, see it like that anymore. Like, well, Vox just said. And conversely. Uh, Project Veritas was like this crazy, shitty yep. Nazi thing that re-edits things <laughs> their own way. Uh, yeah, that, they were they were ostracized since the death of those far left media groups. Yeah. Now, my favorite thing about Project Veritas these days is they don't even say Project Veritas, which I think is a win for them. Yeah, good. They go, this person was saying this, and it was caught on tape. Yeah. And now it's just part of like Associated Press, like right. It's part of the the news. Yeah, you machine. put it out there, and other people can. Pick it up yeah. and play it, and uh, it's just a fact. Yeah, it it's happened. a fact, right? If you put that name on it, people go, "Oh, well, of course they're Nazis and they're yeah, liars." They're like the and patriot front of the media. Theorist, uh, theorist. Yeah, now it's a, what a good strategy, definitely. Yeah. Are they still using that? Now it's like Reuters, bowling ball ass girl to yes, do. They certainly are. Jesus Christ! I met her at that gig. Uh, oh my! I God. Fucked her. Oh my! I just can't. I know you didn't. I know you didn't. I wouldn't say it on the show if I did. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> but I have to say, every time I say I fuck someone, and I haven't fucked anyone, everyone goes, no fucking way. Yeah, yeah. It could be like, 
It could be Taylor Swift. I fucked Taylor Swift at a party once. Really? No way. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Are her tickets really going for like twenty four thousand dollars? Yeah. I was seeing twelve grand yesterday. I saw twelve. Holy grand. fuck! Do you get to fuck her for that? <laughs> well, you fuck her for a million. She doesn't need the money. Oh. What the That's fuck? That's a deadbeat dad who's rich, who feels bad that he wasn't around for his oh, daughter. Oh, yeah. He's yeah, running yeah. a hedge fund. Yeah, yeah. He sees her, like, once a week, even though he lives there. So he's like, I'm going to make up to you, baby. Exactly. That's not uh, anyone that really wants to see it. Like, she loves Taylor Swift, and her yeah. mom just shit talks me when I'm away the whole time. He was going to take her to the show, but he had a meeting, so he actually just sent uh, his assistant. 600, 500... Where are those tickets, though? Got like you know, they got swooped you go on up front row, where you could smell her. C <laughs> <laughs> you should call Ticketmaster. Yeah. Before I spend this kind of right, money, right, right, right. Will I be able to smell her? Smell her. Let's say vagina. Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Wait. Field two tickets. Wait, that doesn't field? look that good. Field seats. Two tickets. Is that like? It's uh, at a, a stadium. Okay, Houston. so you're in a stadium. You're on the field. So I guess that would be in the front. Who knows how much of the field are they using? It could be right. Eighty yards of field. I swear for forty three thousand dollars. Holy! Fuck. I would have to go backstage, and ask Taylor Swift. Even she then, has though, to sing, shake it off <laughs> while I'm. I go back a few years. I haven't kept tabs on the new album. <laughs> but even then, even then, like a week later, you'd be going, I was a f I wasted yeah, a lot Jesus of Jesus Christ, what I could have bought with forty three thousand dollars. Fucking Range Rover. That was, that was stupid. Yeah. What a dumb. By the time the fucking the smell wears off of your fingers, and you're like, motherfucker, there's nothing left. Who, who, how her. many people have fifteen top ten hits? Probably yeah. ten. Yeah. The Beatles. I don't know. <laughs> And um, Slim Whitman. You know, he sold more records than Elvis and the Beatles combined in the UK. I remember that commercial from a long time ago. And uh, let's see. A she Bruce has Nancy. nine number ones and Whoa. 40 top tens. Holy Whoa. shit. <laughs> That's got to be a world record. <laughs> Out of 188 songs. That's, That's a pretty crazy. good. That's got to be a world record. And I f***ed her in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Anthony. That was a hypothetical. We were talking about expensive tickets. It didn't actually oh. happen. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? If I say it enough, 